Hello class, I'm going to talk to you about Pearl S. Buck. <clears throat> Pearl S. Buck uh, is mainly known for our intents in this class, for having spoken up against American mission work. Um, but to the anthropological community, she's actually known as kind of one of the one of the uh, the best examples of an inadvertent um, ethnographer. In her time in China, uh, she learned a lot about Chinese culture and uh, spent much of her life trying to to stop Americans from going over there and being imperialistic. Um, and part of that journey for her also involved her speaking out against the Chinese government. Um, and then that sort of paved the way when she came in her later life back to America it, it gave her the foundation from her for her to form her perspectives on racial injustice and gender inequality and um that's one of the more interesting parts of her story because she was against missionary work not really for the same reasons as other people who are on the modernist side of the fundamentalist modernist debate um, she was really more concerned about American ignorance towards Chinese culture uh, and the ethnocentrism that would come with American missionaries being in China. Um, and she was a fervent believer in the preservation of Chinese culture, which is why the ethnographic and anthropological community kind of uh, embraces her perspectives in today's time. Um, even though she was not a... <clears throat> a an academically trained anthropologist or ethnographer. Uh, she did write and validated in her writing like the existence of Chinese culture and believed that it should be preserved. So she serves a purpose in kind of demonstrating or illuminating like what that perspective holds in the modern world. In regard to the fundamentalist modernist debate, she was kind of unfortunate in uh, having lived in the time periods he did because talking about preserving Chinese culture against American ethnocentrism probably would not have been enough to cause the ire that it did by uh, the church's response from the Presbyterian church uh, if there hadn't already been an existing debate because of uh, what was going on uh, between um, William Jennings Bryan and um, and uh, Frostick, uh, they had their debate about um, whether they should try to um, reconcile scientific views that were starting to emerge and become more prevalent or whether they should abstain from them. Um, and we see that ultimately the modernists won um, and the groups that had been previously what were known as the old school, they basically uh, broke off into other divisions and made themselves even more reclusive from modern society from the rest of the church. So anyway, I thought it was interesting that Pearl S. Buck kind of was a victim of that rather than um, her sticking to her guns and, you know, riling against a cause like she did in a lot of other ones in her life. Anyway, thank you very much.